I don't know what, what a ballet dancer feels like just before they get on to do Swan Lake, but Swan Lake is not random when they get on stage, and there's not a lot of, of uh, freedom to do new stuff when you're out there, and spacewalks are choreographed to that level. But also, you can easily trip and fall in either one and, and make a fool of yourself or, or wreck the whole production. You're in the airlock and everything's closed out and you've been doing this multi, multi-stage process and you manually, um, you've depressurized it so that you're at the vacuum and, and your, your space suit is working properly and it gets so quiet because the pressure goes down to really low pressure in your suit, so it's, it's peaceful. All you hear is yourself breathing. And then you, you turn this huge crank to open up the, uh, the hatch, and then you manually lift it, like taking a manhole cover off, and chunk it up into place. And then you still can't see anything because there's a fabric cover to keep the temperature, so you gotta reach around and undo all this Velcro and push this thing out of the way, and then suddenly, uh, you're in space. Visually, it's everything. The, the world is there, it's pouring by at eight kilometers a second in, in all kaleidoscopic, uh, unbidden glory. And, and the universe is right there on the other side of you. Everything, forever, is right there. And you're like holding on with one hand in the middle. It's, uh, it's phenomenal. I really like it. It's a lot of fun walking in space. And uh, I was lucky enough to be outside for about 15 hours over two spacewalks, which is 10 times around the world. Thank you.